a Funhouse MPU driver board and sound board sent to me. And the specific complaint was, or uh, problem description was that the sound could not be adjusted down and it is at full volume. I can confirm that that is the case. I have taken care of this MPU. There was no alkaline corrosion. There was some kind of junk here. It was um, um, tape or, yeah, it looked like masking tape left over. I took that off with some naphtha and I have installed and VRAM, and I have a test ROM in the MPU right now since Funhouse is a alphanumeric game, and I want to test the DMD. I've replaced C31, the input power header at J210 on the driver board. Somebody had wisely replaced C2, so I left that. I replaced C4, I replaced C5. And these caps are getting hard to find. I bought as many of them as I could, but they are really getting hard to find. I also replaced the power headers all the way around and the general illumination headers all the way around. And I installed a blocking diode, 1N4004, just above test point seven. That prevents C11, the top capacitor, from being damaged when this connector and this connector become interchanged, or it's also possible to put the connector at this location all the way down here or over here. So that blocks any stray voltage. Now I'm gonna power this on for just a second. You. So I am powering it on right now, sorry about that can see my reflection in this DMD and there was no way I was going to publish a shirtless me to the interweb. But when I powered it up before, the volume was at max and you could not adjust it in the least. Um, so I have found the root cause. It's typical of this specific problem. That eight-legged IC, the X9C503, had been blown and so I have a few of those in my stockpile and I have replaced it. Now, why didn't I use a socket there? I don't like using sockets for eight-legged chips. I'll use sockets for every other size chip, but eight-legged ones, I do not. They just do not, or the socket just does not hold the chip well. While I had this board in the shop, I did replace the two input power filter caps. All of the 47 microfarad caps one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The 100 microfarad input power filter cap, and there's a 22 microfarad cap at this location that sometimes causes the amp to overdrive. And that's it for the soundboard, so my dog is upstairs letting me know that the UPS man is here. But let's put it into test. It's already in test. Let me show you the volume going up and down. Okay. That's about as high as I can stand it, having hearing problems. I wouldn't do me any good to set that time and date, but I can test all the functions of the CPU again. And that's all the switch edges. Solenoid test, let me get that running. And there's the first one again. Let's get flasher test for now. There were some jumpers that somebody put between BR2 and C5. Those were just redundant jumpers. I took them out. They're not necessary. Okay, let's see what this does. Oh, the WPC DMD test ROM apparently only cycles between two sounds. Let's do lamps and flashers at the same time. 
and the driver board is doing everything it should be doing. And that is it. My last thing to do on this MPU board is to swap out this ROM for the Funhouse ROM and boot it up. It won't make any sense on the DMD display, but I'll just make sure it boots. And then I'll take these boards out. They're pretty clean, but I like to wash them down anyway and send them back to the customer as clean as they were when they came from the factory. Thank you so much for your patience as I work through this. Much appreciated.